All right, so this is a real interesting topic. Sony is no longer selling digital codes to retailers. So you know how at GameStop, I mean, I, I don't understand why anyone would do it, but you can you could buy a physical game copy like you usually do, or you can buy a digital code from GameStop. At that point, it'd be like, what's the point of going to GameStop? That's never anything I've ever done before. I remember one time, um, the only time, the only experience I ever had with like, being offered a digital code was uh, when the PlayStation Vita came out. It's, it's the the only console I bought on launch day, and I deeply regret it because the PlayStation Vita uh, it was not that great. I know a lot of uh, JRPG fans are going to disagree with me, but hey, I mean, overall as a platform, the PlayStation Vita was very weak. I bought the 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 the, the, the handheld at launch. I got a few games like Uncharted: Golden Abyss, and I got a few other ones. And then I wanted the. I also want to try out the the mod the mod nation racer game that came out on the Vita at launch. Uh, there weren't too many launch titles, so I wanted to pick up as many as I could. And he said, uh, you know, the guy at GameStop said I don't have any physical copies, but I could sell you a digital copy. This was back in 2012, and I was just like so puzzled. Like what? Like why would I buy a digital? Co- why would I buy a digital game at GameStop when the whole point of going to GameStop is being able to get a physical copy? If I want a digital copy, I could go to the PlayStation Store. So, look, do I think this is going to hurt GameStop so bad? I don't think so, because not too many people buy digital stuff on physical retailers. But when it comes to Amazon, now this is where the thing gets more interesting. Okay, so physical retailers, I mean, it's kind of like, eh. You can kind of brush it aside, because literally the only reason why physical retailers still exist is because people are still interested in buying physical copies of games. So... Be- beyond that, it's really like, who cares? Like, no one really cares about GameStop selling these phones and doing all this other stuff they're doing. I mean, I know they're trying to diversify because uh, the end is nigh when it comes to physical media uh, in video games. Uh, it's definitely a much slower death than we've seen with the movie industry and the music industry. But slowly, slowly but surely, over time, physical sales are declining significantly. That's why, you know, when when pundits, when journalists, and when... YouTubers, they compare physical sales from like three to five years ago to the sequel that just came out and saying, oh my God, it sold like 50% less physical copies. Well, that's, I can guarantee you almost 50% less people even buy physical copies compared to last generation. So really not a good example. Uh, but uh, I there are plenty of times where I could tell you that I have bought digital codes on Amazon because Amazon has had their own sales uh separate from the PlayStation Network. So Amazon can have a whole bunch of game sales. They could have PlayStation Plus for sale. They could have certain games for sale, digital codes for sale. And I would I would pick it up. So what does this mean for the the console gaming uh, side of the video game industry? It, it definitely, uh, this is definitely going to change things up a lot because with PC gaming, one of the best things about PC gaming was deals and discounts, right? The idea that you didn't just have to rely on Valve or <laughs> Epic Games <laughs> or uh, GOG or whoever else to, to rely on a game discount. You would have these third-party middlemen uh, like G2A. Uh, Greenman Gaming is another one I could think of, but there, there are countless other ones. Humble Bundle. There are countless other ones that, that exist as middlemen. They, they, they buy these codes in bulk and they resell them for cheaper. So that's always a big part of why PC gaming is just why games are so much cheaper, why people end up buying more games, uh, not necessarily playing them, but they just feel so tempted. They're like, these games are so cheap. Let me pick them up. And with console gaming, we haven't really had that. The only thing that we've had that's kind of acted as a, a version of that was the physical market, right? The idea that if I'm done with the game, I can go to my buddy and sell it to him and he'd get it, you know, he'd, he'd be able to get it for cheaper than if he bought it new. So that would be your idea of like of discounts in, in console gaming, but now it's uh, with, with digital that that didn't really uh, happen. The only way it happened was through digital retailers like Amazon, and I guess to a lesser extent GameStop. Although I don't know too many people that have ever bought a digital code from from GameStop. So I want I want you guys to to chime in here. Have you ever bought a digital console game code? Could be PlayStation Four. Could be Xbox One could be any any type of console digital code. Have, have you ever bought one at GameStop? If you have, please let me know how and why. <laughs> like, wh- why would you do... Like, what's the point? Um, 
because at that point I just go to the PlayStation store. But with Amazon, Amazon does offer deals that are separate from the PlayStation store. So with digital gaming, uh, with with digital distribution rising so much in the console game market, I mean, with PC, digital has dominated since uh, probably for at least a decade, probably even longer, like 15 years. Because ever since Steam came out, it really changed the game. And physical, physical PC game discs were really on the decline for many, many, many years. I remember back when I was growing up, GameStop had a, a pretty sizable PC gaming section where you had all these physical PC gaming discs. And then it became to a point where it was just, you, you'd buy the physical disc and it would just be, uh, it wouldn't even be an actual disc, it would just have a Steam code in it. And at that point it'd be like, what's the hell, what the hell is the point of buying it? Because the whole point of buying a physical disc is being able to install it natively on the hardware, right? Instead of having to download it via the internet and having much longer, uh, much, much less wait times if you don't have great internet. That's the reason why I still buy physical disc, my upload speeds are around, <laughs> like, the, the most the most speed I've ever gotten was, like, uh, 20 megabits per second, and that's very rare. Usually, I fluctuate between 5 and 10 megabits a second where I live. So, if you ever wonder why it takes so long for videos to come out, if you ever wonder why my live streams aren't so good, why there's always lag, and why I don't live stream anymore, because I used to live stream so much back in the day, that's why. And that's also why, whenever you do see my face... And I do record videos like, you know, instead of doing commentaries, I actually record my face. The reason why it's always me sitting in the car in the campus parking lot is because this is this is where I get a five bar high speed connection and I'm able to upload a video like that within like less than 10 minutes. If I go back home, I only have a three bar 4G connection, which is still good. I can play online games and all that. But what I can't do is that, uh, well, the upload speeds are really slow. So this, the same video that I expect to be around 10 minutes long by the time I'm done rambling will take me, if I, if I go back home, it would take me like over an hour just for a 10 minute video in HD. But around here with five bars, it makes all the difference and only takes me like 10 minutes. It's pretty fast. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the problem I have. That's why I still use physical media here and there. Obviously me transitioning into PC gaming is kind of a, a questionable move, uh, that some people might be wondering, if you have such a shit internet connection, it takes me about three days to download a game. Like, a big game, like a new modern release, not like, you know, an older game that may be only like 10 gigabytes. That would take me like half the day to download. But if you're talking about a big game that's like 60, gigab 60 to 80 gigabytes long, it'll take me three full days to download it. Usually because where I, my internet is with me right now. I have no home internet right now because my phone is my internet. <laughs> so... It's, it's a very uh, kind of shitty situation, but I'm making the best out of it, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, I think this is going to really suck, you know, for, for people who are, who are digital all the way through, who don't buy physical media on consoles, but are looking for discounts. I'm not saying the PlayStation Store doesn't have great discounts, but relying only on one storefront to provide those discounts for you, uh, that's not very good, and you know, it's probably going to make console gaming... Uh, less enticing to some people who are all about discounts and deals because PC gaming will always be superior in that end. And it seemed like console gaming was starting to catch up. And now that Sony is just saying, screw you. And, and in case you're wondering why Sony's doing that, just before before we end this video real quick, Sony's doing this because they want you to buy the game from the PlayStation Store. At the end of the day, they make the most money when you buy it directly from them. They don't have to, you know, Amazon doesn't get a cut of the pie. GameStop doesn't get a cut of the pie. It's their di digital distribution. At the end of the day, the digital codes are run through their network, so they see, like, why should these companies deserve t to make any money out of this? At the end of the day, the PlayStation Store is where everything is. You, if you want to buy a game digitally, you go through PlayStation Store. And it's it's very smart business. Uh, whether you personally agree with it or not, it's still very smart business. And, you know, the same thing with cross-platform play. It's not like, you know, Sony, they're, they're a whole bunch of assholes for doing what they're doing. But it's also... It, it really has to do with business and it making the most business sense for them to not have cross-platform play. And This also kind of ties into cross-platform because the reason why Sony is so against cross-platform is simply because they want you to buy the PlayStation 4 version of the game. If you have open, no barriers, PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, you're less likely to buy the PlayStation version because if all your friends are on the PlayStation, and chances are that is the case because PlayStation is by far the largest console gaming platform. Then, but if you if you have an Xbox One, you'll literally have no reason to to buy a PlayStation Four version 
because you just buy the Xbox One version, that money goes to Microsoft and, and the Xbox store, and Sony doesn't see that profit. So I hope you guys understand why Sony's doing this. Uh, and, and I'm sure a lot of you don't like it, but it's just the way business works, and you know it's um, it's it's just uh, it's just the way the way the way things are. Unfortunately, I don't know if this will affect me that much. I mean, I did say that I did buy a lot of Amazon games, but like I said, PC is kind of where I'm at right now, and PC gaming will will still provide me the most discounts. So it just sucks though, because now console gaming is going to have a, a lot less of those discounts now. You won't see those Amazon store discounts. I mean, if you want to buy a physical copy, sure, but it'll take you like three... Even if you have Prime, sometimes it'll take you up to three days to, to get the game. And you want to play the game now, right? So this is definitely going to hurt. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are going to be affected by this negatively, and you know, it's going to suck for a lot of people. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this new move by Sony. If you... Well, I'm sure most of you guys don't like it. You guys always like having more options, obviously. But... Let me know uh, if this, how much this will affect you, I guess you could say. And most of my subscribers are PC gamers, so I expect not so much. But what do you think about Sony doing this? Do you think this was just total dick move? Do you think it was smart business, like I'm saying? Or somewhere in between, kind of like, that, that's kind of what I've been saying too. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.